What's up, Cal Gang? All right, we got some angular motion problems. Um, I'm back after my hiatus, so let's just go ahead and solve this. So it gives you a fan blade is rotating with uh, angular velocity of this, and uh, it gives you, you know the what gamma and beta are, and it wants you to find okay first angular acceleration. So we know that acceleration is the uh, derivative of velocity, right? So same thing for um, same thing for angular acceleration. It's the derivative of angular velocity. So if you take uh, the derivative with respect to time of the angular velocity, this gamma is just a constant, so that's going to go away. Uh, and then it's going to be beta t squared, so the t squared is going to become t, and the 2 is going to drop down in front. So it's going to be negative t, 2, beta, t. Okay, so then um, this is equal to acceleration. And then if you plug in your constant for b, which is given here, you're just going to get negative 1.60 t for acceleration as a function of time. So that's the answer to part A. Uh, part B wants you to find it at point or at time is equal to three. So what you're just going to do is plug in three for t uh, is equal to negative one point six zero times three, and that's equal to negative four point eight zero radians second squared. Okay, now part three it wants you to find um, the average uh, angular velocity from zero to three seconds and ask you if, to compare them. Okay, so average angular velocity. Um, is equal to average, I'll put that there, is equal to change in angular velocity over change in time. So what this is going to be is final uh, minus initial. So let's go ahead and calculate final. So what we want to do to calculate final is plug in, um, let's, let's put in our constants to this equation. So we know that w of t is equal to, so gamma is equal to 5, 5 minus 0 0.8 t squared. So this is going to be w at time is equal to 3 minus w at time is equal to 0 over 3, or, you know, t, t final minus t initial, which is going to be 3 minus 0. Okay, so what this is, so let's plug in 3 for this equation. So 5 minus 0 0.8, uh, 3 squared. Let's see what you get for that. Okay, that's going to be, um, what is that going to be? That's going to be, where did I write this? So negative 2.20. And then at time is equal to zero, so you plug in zero for this equation, it's going to be five minus zero, so it's just going to be minus five. And then this is going to be over three. This number calculates out to um, negative 2.40 radians a second squared. Okay, so that's your average uh, angular acceleration over this interval. And as you can see, it's half of this acceleration, which makes sense, I guess. Um, if you, kinda, if you can kind of imagine the acceleration, it's going to be linear, right? You see the acceleration is just a number with the t. So it's going to look something like this. So here's your point at 3. Here's your point at 0. The average is going to be right here. And then this is going to be your final. Uh, this gap is going to be the same as this gap. Kind of just makes sense. I don't know if that, that made any sense to anyone. But it makes sense in my head. So, yeah, so there's your, uh, that's how you solve this kind of problem, guys. Good luck on your physics homework, and uh, I'll see you next time.